Attention all freshmen, paperwork for a class office is available today. If you want to sign up to run for a freshman class office, then you should go to Ms. Landis's office. The paperwork will be there. As vice president, I've helped out with like events, like setting up events such as like football games and PGPs and uh, helping out with the pep rallies, getting like everything ready for the class and deciding the themes. Yeah, mostly secretary just takes notes and um, informs others about what we talk about. Usually Tuesdays at lunch, if any of your other class officers missed any meetings, you would inform them about what we talked about at the meetings. As freshman treasurer, you're usually just going to go to the Tuesday meetings with the rest of the class officers. Otherwise, for treasurer-specific things, you might be selling tickets for events like homecoming, but otherwise it's usually pretty light. You have meetings every Tuesday, so you should be coming to those just to get um, an idea of what's happening for the week and what has happened or what's planning to happen. I feel like you should also be open to coming to a lot of events. I would say to get a pretty good camera and just have like an adapter or something so you can easily transfer photos because it is pretty tedious when you have to like download a bunch of photos on different devices. It, like do as much stuff as possible while campaigning and if you if it is if the question is about campaigning just maybe just post stuff just get connected with your class I would say. As a reminder forms are now available outside Miss Landis office starting today. If you have any questions please contact Preek or me. Our emails are on screen now and thank you. In yesterday's league opener, our flag football team took the field against Rio Mesa and delivered an exciting performance. Senior captain and QB Lily Rodriguez led the charge on offense, surprising fans with four touchdown passes to four different receivers. And while on defense, Brooklyn Hedricks and Kaylee Orchiola both got interceptions. The team's win was clear as they wrapped up the game with a 32-6 victory. And with this win, our season record now stands at 5-0 and our league record 1-0. Their next game is this Saturday at the Ventura County Tournament. And for DP News, I'm Sam Mitchell. Yesterday, our girls volleyball team hosted Pacifica in our league opener. The Chargers started off strong, dominating the first set 25 points to 6. Keeping that momentum, they won the next two sets as well. It was a team effort as our girls won by sweeping Pacifica three sets to none. This leaves us with the league record of 1-0 and an overall record of 8-2. Reporting for DP News, I'm Stephen McElroy. Last Friday, DP's innovative program had their annual boating competition. Students were tasked with creating ships out of cardboard and duct tape to race across the width of our pool, being cheered on by their fellow peers. It was a tough challenge, some succeeded while others failed, but everyone had a fun time participating in this annual event. Reporting for DP News, I'm Michael Nuno. <laughs>